In this video, we're going to take a look at some more multi-body modification techniques inside of Autodesk Inventor. Here I have multi-body modification three, and what my design task here is, I need to take a desk grommet that we have as a library item, and I need to somehow put it on the top face of this piece and remove that geometry from this design. Now, a desk grommet is a really simple piece of geometry. It's just a couple of circles. Realistically, I could remove that on my own, but this is just trying to show you the additional tools we have inside the software. You might use this for some more advanced modeling. You might use this for some really complex piece of geometry or shape you need to bring in and either join or cut or somehow add to your existing criteria that you have. So we're going to begin by using a couple commands that we're familiar with, and one of them is derive. So I'll go up here to my sweep pull down, and I'll choose the derive option. From our working files directory, I'll grab the desk grommet. I'll choose open, and I'm going to select all my defaults here to be the same. So just going to leave them as is, and bring it right in. It puts it on the same origin plane, same origin references as the desk grommet to this particular file. So everything kind of matches up. And therefore, it depends on how you built this desk grommet to begin with, and it also depends on how you built this little stand that we have here. So therefore, it's not always as easy to do this technique. But my next step is to somehow get that on top of the desk. So I'm going to come up here to the Modify Expanded Panel and take a look at a command called Move Bodies. Now with the Move Bodies tool, I'll go ahead and select my desk grommet, and I can do multiple modifications to this new solid. I can rotate it, I can move it, and I can do a free drag as well. So I'm going to begin by choosing the rotate around a line option from this pull down. Now for my references, I love using the origin. I'm going to continue that trend. So my rotation axis for this particular grommet will be around the X axis. Now it's going currently the opposite way I want it to, so I'm going to do a negative 90 rotation. And you don't have to hit apply or OK. You can actually do multiple moves with the same tool. You just go over here and click the add button. And now I can do my move along array. In this case, my array will be, again, another origin reference. I'll choose the Y. Now I just know from my design criteria that from the middle point of that edge down there at the bottom to the top of my stand is 700. Let me just rotate this so we can see it better. And I'm right on the money. I'm going to do another move along array. And this time the array will be the Z axis. Now currently 10 positive is coming away from where I want it to go. I want it to go into the stand. So I'm going to make this negative 50. So it goes in there. And now I'm happy with its location. I'll choose OK. You can see the desk grommet is overlapping the geometry there. And now I can use my combine command to take this base and this tool body and subtract it out. I'll choose OK, and it has been removed. This grommet had an interior void to it. So when it gets removed out of there, it doesn't know to take out the interior void. So if I zoom in here and rotate a little bit, you can see that it does have a gap down through there, but it left that big floating chunk of desk. So to get rid of that, I can use my delete face command, and I'm going to choose the lump option. Here I'll choose this lump, and choose OK. And there you can see it removed the rest of that information. So now when I go to assemble this and place in my desk grommet in the assembly, it will go in there perfectly.